What are the strangest client request that you have dealt with? We see a whole bed decorated with flowers and there's like balloons and everything. So sort of like the Suhagra setup was ready and we lost our shit. We're like, are we supposed to shoot everything after as well? Sometimes huh. I feel I should be a photographer. No. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to this podcast that we call RNF Podcast. The idea behind this was for everyone who we've ever interacted with, be it clients, be it uh, members from the same fraternity or anyone in general to give you an idea of how RNF works, what are we about, what are our values and of course on a much lighter note. I'm Anand Rati, I'm the founder of Deals and Frames and with me today uh, joining in on the panel are Dheerat Sanil, Pratik, Pranit and Raju. So today's episode is called Who Are We? The idea is to dive into the core fabric of what this company is about. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the rest of the panel and uh, would love to have a quick one line of introduction from each one of you. Dheeraj, if we can start with you. Hi guys, I'm Dheerat Sanil and I'm the creator, producer and CEO at Reels and Frames. What I do in this company, literally everything. Well, apart from shooting and editing, pretty much everything. But isn't that practically all we do? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> uh, but okay, on a serious note, uh, I have a very, very interesting job. It keeps sort of changing with time. My most favorite job is meeting prospective clients because there's so much of love stories you actually get to hear. Super. Pratik? <laughs> So, to simply put it, uh, we actually do the actual job. Me, Praneet and Raju, I would say. These yeah. people are just fillers. <laughs> My job practically is to head the photo team. It also includes hiring, it includes planning post-production, uh, doing a lot of post-production uh, during the off-season. Also the entire creative direction of the photo team. So, anything to do with photo, I'm the go-to guy. Okay, Praneet, what about you? Hi, I'm Praneet Shetty. I'm a creative director at Reels and Frames. I mostly take care of video and uh, the whole shooting and the editing part. But I think my main job is to travel, eat good food, survive on a lot of coffee. Other than that, yeah, I think pretty much do what Dheeraj doesn't do. Like Pratik said. <laughs> Super. What about you, Raju? Uh, hello. My name is Raju Singh. I am a photographer. I am here to do what I am doing in my panel. Like a fairless award. That's good. So, thanks for that. First question I think is what I want to ask everyone. To anyone watching this, what can we share with them? What are the values that we work by? The environment in RNF has always been very chill. It has always been about banter, it has always been about fun. Uh, you walk into any cabin, be it photo or video, yeah. there is something or the other going on between the people. It's very cordial, it's very lively all the time. I think it helps us ease the pressure on and off shoot. Fantastic. What yeah. other values do you think uh, reflect in RNF when you, you know, think about the company. I, think, I think something that uh, all of us here resonate with and are always working toward is uh, innovating. Always, always innovating on our own as a team, bringing something new to the table, right? It's always about creating something because we are in the business of making memories for uh, a set of people and their families, right? So it's always about giving something new to them, giving something that they will reflect on after five years, ten years something that they will, it's something that's timeless for them. So always innovating, making something new, creating crazy stuff out there is what we are in the business for. Interesting. So, so your business in some sense is innovation. Yep. Right? Yep. A lot of it is about breaking out of our comfort zone, 
making people do things which they would normally not do pause on that point and ask raju about this ki what does innovation mean to you is it about social media trends is it jo dil mein aa raha hai jo aesthetically acha lag raha hai wo innovation hai ya kuch teesri aur cheez thoda ye bhi hai jo aap bole ki jo abhi trend mein chal raha hai kyunki mujhe aisa lagta hai ki kabhi bhi wo bhi follow karna chahiye बट या लॉन्ग टर्म के लिए इनोवेशन मतलब जो अभी कुछ नया कंफर्ट जोन से बाहर करके शूट करना या कुछ ट्राई करना एम आई एज अ नॉन क्रिएटिव अलाउड टू टॉक अबाउट इनोवेशन नो ऑलवेज नो दैट्स योर जॉब प्रूफ एट लीस्ट ही एडमिटेड एडमिटेड हो ही नॉन क्रिएटिव अमंगस्ट अ बंच ऑफ क्रिएटिव्स मैन दिस इज ऑन रिकॉर्ड फाइनली बट या सो आई आई जस्ट आई फील दैट अ लॉट ऑफ इनोवेशन कम्स फ्रॉम डिस्कवरी सो ट्राइंग टू फाइंड and discover something that already exists and somebody else has not seen so not just uh, because every time somebody thinks of innovation they say kuch naya karna hai kuch alag karna hai that people have not seen so i also feel that a lot of innovation can come from things that exist and it just sort of needs to be found understood read or uh, try to be on the same line of sorts would you say that uh part of innovation is also driven by understanding your client well so much yeah. because every client is different yeah. they would bring a different yeah. element to that i think story. we've used that to our advantage also because even uh, i mean most of rnf work is also a reflection of what each of our clients are and that's because they are so different that's helped us that that's helped our work be so different in its own way right in a finance field there's something called as a fact find okay I, kyc kyc know your customer these things help understand a person and there is a science behind it things like even if you go to a restaurant and you have no idea what you want to eat right the server pretty much is going to lead you to what you want he's going to ask you veg or non veg you say your choice is going to ask you soup starter or what you're going to say your choice is going to ask you spicy or non spicy you know it but you don't know it and the idea is to sort of just understand them but because of course it's their first time getting married most of them uh, and then work our magic around what they want exactly why we always believe in meeting them be ahead of time sitting with them understanding yeah. what they mm. want all so, the small so i want to double down on, on this right uh, in fact let me put a larger umbrella question out here um, maybe some people watching this might be curious how does rnf approach an assignment so say a client just walked uh you know just inquired with us on um, instagram or email right let let me take the coldest example which is an email because then you don't have a voice to call i mean a pro tip to anybody writing is it's, it'll be great if you sort of write where things are happening and a bit of your story so there's a great understanding but i would personally like to always get on a call uh, because that gives a sense of uh, it, it just becomes more personal uh, in that sense and uh, a lot of times with the kind of field we are in uh, things are cluttered into same dates as well so uh, it also happens that sometimes you are available not available but uh, the first step always is connecting to them uh, we don't believe in having our clients fill sheets at the first time we'd be somebody who'd like to talk to them understand their story and sort of explain to them who we are and how we sort of function if you are if they are in bombay uh, we'd love to meet them uh, we have a nice cute uh, uh, meeting room of sorts that doubles up on a ps yes. uh, game room uh, in the evenings uh, we get to meet them explain to them our work uh, my idea is usually to show them three different works instead of showing them our best work are you straight away in the salesman mode when you're meeting them i've actually never been in a salesman mode to be honest uh, it's always been so friendly and uh, i can uh, i can confirm that because a lot of closures that we've not done have continued to be friends with me and uh, i've actually gone to other cities and chilled with them and hung out with them of people who've chosen other photographers as well yeah. so the only time you're in salesman mode i feel is is with your dating life right that's <laughs> it's not worked very well for me very clearly so I exactly why he's not closing i don't have you know? a single sale yet what the closure rate seems to be lesser but yeah. sorry uh, you you you're yeah. saying essentially you're never in that salesman mode never and it works well for me because uh, uh, it's such a great field everybody who you meet are around your age yeah uh, a little younger now but yeah. i really connect with them very well and uh, you get to hear a lot of love stories so i'm never in a salesman mode uh, get to understand them uh, like i said work our way backwards see what they want try to show them things that are similar try to show them things that they may not like for me to be sure that okay 
we are going at the right pace and the idea is that we've created a half mood board even before we sort of close the thing so but what happens you know for a client who comes window shopping or say you know for some reason the budget doesn't work you've done all the hard work uh, and they just you know sort of take all your ideas and and just go to the next person does that happen with you do you feel that happens uh yeah i'm sure it has happened it's happened a couple of times but uh, i think it's a part and parcel i mean if now i have to be a salesman it's purely numbers right if you meet about 10 15 people you're going to close about two or three sales and every time i meet somebody there's a learning or teaching for me as well so it's fairly okay i enjoy the process so there's no problem in meeting people who are window shopping yeah. also it's great so we we got an inquiry you met the person at that point has the creative team been plugged in or are you saving them for the very end how does that work um uh, very rarely i have done that there are times uh, uh, i have actually done that when there are similar interests uh, of one of our leads and uh, you know if things suit them or if they've met give, give their me an friend. example what do you mean by similar uh, interests a great example would again be uh, sasha yogesh and pratik uh, they they their sense of humor uh, falls in the more of a darker side so i remember making pratik meet yogi even before we sort of closed because i knew he would be the right person to take it away again the process is once we've met them uh, after we've locked the dates we uh, try to assort our team leads uh, to respective clients who we think uh, whose style suits them more and uh, again that's a very internal conversation with the team itself on what kind of work you've showed them and what did they land up liking and then from there one of us uh, takes over and then yeah Do you the always, rest is yours uh, show the same work uh not always the same work but uh, like i said i showed three different work so if i could give an example i would show something that has an interview and i would show something that doesn't have an interview to get a vibe of what they like because a lot of times i've also realized people who say that they do not do not like interviews have landed up liking that sort of a vibe and vice versa as well so it's very important for them to really understand what they are looking at as well and what will suit them so i curate my work as well uh, sometimes they want to see things of the same city or the country where they are getting married at and sometimes it's the same city and country but the vibe is very different from something i already have from a different country so i try to curate it accordingly you usually say for example a client comes in and they are clueless of what they like it looks like i have a lot of work right people are asking me questions now see there He's you go back. raju so it's i was saying it's only because we don't know what to, what you do <laughs> now now we know wait for the next part of <laughs> now we know that dheeraj has a real job <laughs> no so raju i was as i was saying <laughs> yes but yeah when a client walks in right uh say they completely clueless yeah when you're pitching to them or trying to talk to them do you show based on what their vibe is or do you want to I'm, sell your I'm vibe i'm never to showing them? my work in the first 15 minutes of them meeting i've told even when i was really bad at this and by the way this man is really good at this so i've learned it very quickly but for first 15 minutes don't show your work because yeah. that's the only time you get to know I, them understand I them i i i read this really nice uh, instagram uh, you know creative that someone had made where they wrote wedding photography is about and they wrote like 10 points uh one was the camera one was the editing software one was the team size and then last mm. three points were something like vibe compatibility empathy and then the first these points were just crossed out So wedding photography I think is not about what camera you use or how many people yeah. show up it's it's purely uh at least uh from Brilliant whatever I've shot is purely about the vibe right the yeah. vibe check mm-hmm. is the yeah. gen z way of saying it but that yeah. uh, I think a fair enough description to it yeah. vibe set hai to bhai sub set hai yeah. vibe set hai to sub set hai so an understanding of people is also very important and uh being able to make someone comfortable is very important because this field uh, your actor and your actress your heroes are not professional actors and actresses so for them to be comfortable around a camera uh they got to be comfortable around you uh so dheeraj is now done say the closure of the sales the closure is done guys so i am the one who gets the job 
Yeah. If I was not there, there was no work. Oh, fair enough. So uh, another okay. plug, another okay. plug. <laughs> Your job is not done un- until, until the job up, is done. Until we show up. Uh, that's my favorite part of our uh, principles. Oh, we have RNF principles as well. So what? Me. What are the RNF principles? I think some we already discussed. Please, uh, what do you guys? <laughs> some we already discussed. Innovation is one thing we discussed. Go yes. on. Offense, we're always on an offense. All, always on an offense. Like I said, your job is not done until the job is done. Until we show up as well. Yeah, which is which just uh, practically means that everyone should take ownership of the work they do. Uh, whatever they have taken up, it shouldn't. It's basically owning up to every single uh, input you are give, giving, every single task you are doing. Look at the b- bigger picture and try to see how you fit in. So that is a broad, broader yeah. understanding. Of that. It's my favorite point because it's it it then does not stay departmental wise. Yes. Then we are always. Are we or, so sorry, department. Huh. So what's the organization like? Is it a flat structure? Is it uh, departments? You said there's no hierarchy. Hierarchy as such, it's it's flat equal to open door policy. I would put it that way. There is the founder, uh, there is the CEO. Then we have departmental heads. Uh, and then we have the team. But having said that, uh, I think there are uh, innovative photo ideas that a videographer has given, a video editor has given. In fact, even our production manager, I remember, had suggested us to take a drone at a specific shoot because he remembered somebody uh, in that country who could sort us uh, uh, permissions and stuff. So it's it's. It's very collaborative. It's such a collaborative way and that's what that point means. Uh, the job's not done until it's done because everyone's sort of involved and they take it through until it really happens. So coming so back, right? The sale has now closed um, and say Pratik, you and Pranit, you are leading the assignment for photo and video respectively. And then what happens from that point onward? Our first uh, uh, order of business is actually to talk to them. Uh, nothing else. Uh, like he said, it's really important for us to basically make them comfortable and also know what what their story is. Because a part of our innovation will come through their story, uh, how we adapt to their uh, uh, preferences, their uh, mannerisms, their personality. Uh, at the end of the day, a wedding film or a wedding uh, photo set should be reflective of their personality. So we get on an icebreaker call that we say. Like it's basically just us chit chatting with them. Or something uh, that Diaz so, does, we do it again. Uh, we do it again, but more uh, from a uh, creative yeah. standpoint. Uh, we try to understand how we can align our creative strengths to their uh, requirements. We love icebreaker calls which go for hours and hours. Because that just means that that couple is comfortable with us. Vibe check. Huh? Vibe, Vibe check, check. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and we have more uh, data points to work around. Right. Pardon my uh, technical <laughs> language at times, we joke about it. That yeah, this is remainder. <laughs> the remainder of your engineering is yes, coming out yeah. in this podcast, right? Yes. You, I, I'm sure you'll use the word algorithm also at some point. <laughs> Or Raju, particularly, your approach is different than people. And clearly, you uh, are doing something like that, which is fine because there are awards. So, how do you approach it? Is it different or it's the same? Sometimes, uh, starting with me, I feel that I will try to do it as much as comfortable as I feel that I will tell you how to type it. But uh, at the end, after going to the location, I will try to do it in the first day or second day. English में उनसे बातें करूं ज़्यादा जितना हो सके। But बाद में हिंदी में comfortable हो जाता हूं तो set हो जाता हूं। I I completely get it right कि अगर हिंदी में बात हो पा रही है तो शायद वो barrier of language हट चुका है। अब हम सीधे core पे cut करके आ गए हैं कि creativity। Yeah, I think in the end they also what they are looking for is your work, what you're giving it, yeah. giving them। Raju I think has made up for it क्योंकि यार इसकी smile देखो यार बस He's such a positive guy I mean, on the field. You have a story about his smile, right? Smile. You have a story about his smile, right? So, <laughs> Raju ka sabse exceptional interview tha. This is about seven years ago, six, seven yeah, years six, ago. Seven years, yeah. And Raju just walked into the office 
वन डे राइट जैसे जोमैटो डिलीवरी वाला आता है तो वैसे ही बिना हाथ में कोई पैकेज भी नहीं राइट एंड दिस वन गाय एंड जस्ट डायरेक्टली आई थिंक द कोइंसिडेंटली द फर्स्ट पर्सन हु ही सॉ वॉज मी राइट सो ही सेट डायरेक्टली कि आ यस मैंने पूछा दैट हु आर यू यू नो वॉट यू वॉन्ट इज लाइक मुझे यहाँ पे फोटोग्राफर बनना है सो ही वॉज एंट इवन अबाउट कि मुझे फोटोग्राफर बनना है या मुझे फोटोग्राफी सीखनी है इट वॉज अ वेरी क्लियर वॉट इज योर यू नो वन लाइन मिशन स्टेटमेंट मुझे यहाँ पे फोटोग्राफर बनना है वो दो चीजें इतनी क्लियर थी कि वो ड्राइवर बन गई एंड आई थिंक राजू लास्ट हायर था जो बिना एक फॉर्मल इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस के बाद आके आया उसके बाद ऑब्वियसली वी वी चेंज आर प्रोसेस एंड आई डोंट थिंक बिकॉज़ ऑफ राजू देन यू रियलाइज कि सिर्फ स्माइल से काम नहीं चलता है ना देन 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 इट वाज देन आई रियलाइज कि यार स्माइल स्माइल अच्छी है बाकी बहुत मेहनत करना पड़ेगा पता चला क्लाइंट मीटिंग में सिर्फ स्माइल करते हुए बैठे हुए अरे आई थिंक द वे आई लुक एट राजू एंड रील्स एंड फ्रेंड्स रिलेशनशिप इज वेरी सिमिलर टू रील्स एंड फ्रेंड्स एंड क्लाइंट रिलेशनशिप राइट बिकॉज़ स्टार्ट में सब स्माइल होता है बट इवेंचुअली आप एक दूसरे के साथ एक ग्रेटर गुड के लिए कॉमन कॉज के लिए काम करना शुरू कर देते हो राइट एंड बाई द एंड द एम इज एवरी थिंग कम्स टूगेदर जो वो चाहता है जो मैं चाहता हूँ या जो कंपनी चाहती है वो हो जाता है सो आई आई वॉन्ट टू आस समथिंग यर अगर एक क्लाइंट का क्रिएटिव ओपिनियन मान लीजिए सेल्स क्लोज हो गया राइट एंड आपने एक यू नो आइस ब्रेकरस भी हो चुके हैं बट अभी भी उस क्लाइंट का क्रिएटिव ओपिनियन जो है वो एक्स है और आप शायद एक्स से थोड़ा दूर वाई पे खड़े हो उस पॉइंट पे व्हाट्स गोइंग थ्रू योर माइंड एज अ क्रिएटिव हाउ हाउ आर यू ब्रिजिंग द गैप आर यू इवन थिंकिंग अबाउट ब्रिजिंग द गैप वी डेफिनेटली थिंक अबाउट ब्रिजिंग द गैप बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे अलॉट ऑफ वेडिंग फोटोग्राफी इज ऑल्सो स्टेक होल्डर मैनेजमेंट क्योंकि there are a lot of people involved in a wedding there is a couple involved there is a planner involved there is internal uh, creative expectations that you have from the shoot uh, so all of this needs to align in a shoot somehow or the other and that's where empathy comes into picture because unless you understand that point of view ki why do they want a certain thing and a lot of it is also about our creative conviction if our creatively very convinced that this is a better option we need to fight for it is point mm-hmm. mein pratik mechanical engineering se human engineering mein aa jata hai human ko kaise samajhte yaar mechanical nahi tha electrical tha electrical yeah. engineering se human engineering acha <laughs> so this is a very interesting question uh, what are the strangest client request that you have dealt with oh okay I won't say strange, but it was very brave of the bride. Uh, I know this. Uh, <laughs> so Sasha had this bright idea <laughs> that she would do a full Yashraj type pre-wedding shoot in Gulmark in the peak of winter in late December, and all she wore was a sari. Hamari to lagi padi thi. Like literally, we were wearing. six layers oh and all she was wearing was a sleeveless sari and her energy was off the roof that's when we realized here people value photography too much and at times their vision uh sometimes is so uh clear clear and so they they're so determined at times that it also elevates your uh motivation and your energies hmm. because yeah. when when the bride is doing that you have no excuses to uh not do your take a step back or not do your job Fantastic. that is such a i think this was a story yeah. of determination i have one which is kind of awkward i don't know if you're going to keep this in the episode but uh, we were shooting in udaipur and the wedding was done we had a request by the couples one of the family members i guess to go to their room and shoot a little bit of we thought it's a post wedding ritual that we have the games and all that we head there two three of us are there we waiting they haven't come for like 30 45 minutes when we open the door they asked us to stay inside when they come in we we went in and we see a whole bed decorated with 
flowers and there's like balloons and everything. <laughs> so sort of like the Suhagra setup was ready, and we were we we lost our shit. We're like, are we supposed to shoot everything after as well? So they walk right. in, and the I think the hotel had kept a cake for them. There was a champagne, all of those things, and we were just waiting. At what point do we yeah. stop shooting and leave this? Place? At what point are we reels and frames? Yeah. And at what point are we? This casting couch, I don't know how further this is going. Sometimes I feel I should be a photographer. No. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've dealt with like a couple of requests of people saying, uh, okay, pre wedding shoot, uh, nahi hua time pe. You know, we are going for the honeymoon, why don't you come along? And <laughs> okay, and then, then of course they qualify and say, hey, listen, like, we'll take a day out for the pre wedding shoot like, or post wedding shoot in this case. Have you done it? No, not really. We. Always uh, maintained safe distance from that because you know after a point you realize that the couple is on a honeymoon, they are on a mission, right? So you don't want to be part of that mission. Raju. If, the, if this happens again, we are sending Raju. No wonder he was so happy that day. Baat kam kam zada, he'll be silent, they'll not even realize he's around. Imagine him so, standing there and just smiling. New bookings we're taking, guys, new bookings, post wedding. One of the things that I thought would be fun to share would be. Ours is a very seasonal job, right? Like November till March, we're like super mm-hmm. occupied. Um, and obviously, you want to get done with the deliveries as soon as possible. What happens at RNF in off season? What we usually do is we take a stock of what happened during the season. There is a lot of upskilling also, also that happens. Yeah, I think uh, communication is the key at times. And more than anything, you can be the greatest photographer in the world, but if you are not able to create, uh, communicate your creative vision effectively, I think uh, you you would not be working on your full p- potential. Praneet, what, what happens on the video team? Uh, one of the things that we do as a video team together is we get each of us to uh, go back, look at our footages that we shoot, uh, take out some of the best footages that we've done, sit together and watch it and see what what kind of creative shots or what kind of shots we've taken, yes. why we've taken it. How much data are we talking about here? Uh, there's, that's a lot, a lot. Because one person is shooting the entire day for three days. That's about three, four hundred, five hundred GB per wedding, right. per shooter. Multiply that by the number of, of shooters. Yeah. Wow. So that's a lot of data going back. But it also in a way uh, becomes sort of easier because you've been there, you know what you've shot, where you've shot what. Because every person is shooting a certain at a certain point in a certain location, right? So you know what you're going back to. Uh, but also what this helps is, as a team, you're not always seeing what others are doing. Yeah. So at this point, you can go back and be like, okay, fine. What did uh, Pratik do at this point? What did Krishna do at this point? What are the shots he's taking? Something that I can learn, something that I can teach him. Uh, another thing that we do is we watch our films. We watch all the films that have been made throughout the season, all the trailers, all the full films. Uh, understanding what kind of stories we are talking about, what kind of stories we are telling, what can be improved in that, what is the story flow, what are the shots that need to be better to make it even more pleasing and visually appealing. That's, I think, some of the things that really, really help us moving forward to the next. Uh, Season. And Raju, what about you? Like, just to, uh, since you've been here for quite so many years, uh, off season ki jo activities hain, have they helped you? Was it just another way of, you know, passing time till the season comes? What has the impact of these activities been? This season, I have made a goal in the sense that I have to do a lot of things. And, um, I have to learn what I have to do, because I have to be repeated. And I have to be multi-talented, because if you don't like boring life, or if you don't like one thing, or if you don't like one thing, then you will be boring life. But I don't like it, so I want to do it. Today, you have to do it. Yes, you have to do it. It's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. It's wrong, it's wrong. It's wrong, it's wrong. In July, August, September, we are literally chilling. We yeah. play foosball, we go for holidays, we, we, it's the only time we travel without a project being there. So we travel as a company as well for holidays. 
वी वॉच फिल्म दैट आर नॉट वेडिंग इज वेल कोई आएगा बोलेगा कि आई वेंट टू दिस फेस्टिवल एंड आई सॉ शॉर्ट फिल्म एंड देन वी शेयर दैट वी सी इट इन आर मीटिंग रूम आई योर फैशन पोर्ट्रेट शूट करना या प्रोडक्ट शूट करना है स्ट्रीट फोटोग्राफी करना फोटो वॉक करना ये सब चीज़ें हम काफ़ी करते हैं करते रहते हैं एंड वील शेयर अ लॉट यार वी बुक टर्फ एंड वी प्ले football and all of that so a lot of fun things we, we do have also. our own jerseys we make our own jerseys ah. we give our own names to each other none of the names behind the jersey is their actual original name it's either given to them or something they call themselves i think ye field bhi aisa hai ki फ्री बैठा भी नहीं जाता है मतलब कुछ ना कुछ करने का ऐसा मन करता है वेन वी आर बिजी वी कंप्लेन दैट वी आर बिजी ऑफ सीजन में हमसे रहा नहीं जाता कि सीजन कब आएगा यार इट फील्स इट फील्स लाइक वी आर सो यूजलेस राइट नाउ बीच बीच में कैमरा या कनेक्शन भी ऐसा होता है कि अरे बहुत टाइम से कैमरा उठाया नहीं है तो हाँ. मैं तो ला के डेस्क पर रख देता हूँ कभी कभी मेरा बाहर ही बढ़ा रहता है कि कुछ ना कुछ करते रहो मतलब इट्स अ लाइफ स्टाइल आई मीन लॉट ऑफ पीपल मतलब काला टीका लगाना चाहिए हमें क्योंकि हर बार हम जब ट्रैवल करते सो आई एम श्योर हम सबको ये डीएम आता होगा आई एम जेलस आई लव योर जॉब कैन आई अप्लाई इज देर ओपनिंग कैन आई बी योर असिस्टेंट कैन आई बी योर असिस्टेंट मैं तो उनको बोलता हूँ यार वो जॉब तो मैंने ले लिया दे रियल स्टोरी यू वर पार्ट ऑफ दैट असाइनमेंट मेरा एक फ्रेंड था सो ही इज आई टी खड़गपुर आई एम कैलकटा गाय रियली क्रैम ऑफ द क्रैम पीपल फैंटास्टिक गाय और जब से हम फ्रेंड्स बने वो हमेशा मुझको यही बोलता रहता था कि तेरा तो कितना कूल जॉब है कभी थाईलैंड कभी सेशल्स और यू नो ये तो ट्रैवल स्कीम खोल रखी है तुम लोग ने और मुझे भी लेकर चल मुझे भी लेकर चल मैंने बोला देख अगर चलना है तो बोल आई कैन टेक यू बट एक ही पोजिशन अवेलेबल रहेगी वो है प्रोडक्शन असिस्टेंट उसने पूछा कि प्रोडक्शन असिस्टेंट क्या होता है मैंने बोला देख कैमरा उठाना पड़ेगा ट्राईपॉड उठाना पड़ेगा एंड uh, शायद डेटा बैकअप करना पड़ेगा इतना जॉब रहेगा अरे ये तो नींद में हो जाएगा यू नो लेके चल लेके चल नींद ही नहीं मिली उसे एग्जैक्टली और वो पहले तो एक दिन जब आए जब थाईलैंड में सो इम्प्रेस्ड कि क्या असाइनमेंट और क्या खाना और पार्टी चल रही है या आई एक्चुअली टुक हिम हाईएस्ट क्वालिफाइड प्रोडक्शन असिस्टेंट दैट वी एवर हैड इन रील्स एंड फेम्स वाज एन आई टी खड़गपुर आई एम कैलकटा ग्रेजुएट राइट सो एंड देन बाय द फर्स्ट नाइट राइट अब फर्स्ट डे तो इज ऑल हनी राइट फर्स्ट इवनिंग तक उसको समझ में आने लग गया कि ये तो कहीं अगर ह्यूमन राइट वालों को पता चल गया वो केस फेस हो जाएगा इतना काम एक आदमी कैसे कर सकता है एंड वो बेचारा थाईलैंड की गर्मी में बीच पे ट्राईपॉड उठाए भाग रहा है वो यही सोच रहा होगा कब मुझे वो मेरी डेस्क जॉब वापस मिले बट द फन पार्ट इज एट द एंड ऑफ थ्री डेज जब मैंने उसे पूछा कि यार देख मैं तेको पहले से स्पूक नहीं करना चाहता था जॉब टफ होने वाला था बट यू सेट इट आई गॉट यू हियर कैसा लगा यू सेट इट वॉज सो इंटरेस्टिंग क्योंकि तीन दिन ऐसा लग रहा है मैं एक वो वैरायटी आवर कपिल शर्मा शो चल रहा है एक नया नया एक्ट आ जा रहा है कभी संगीत में ये देखने को मिल रहा है कभी हल्दी में पता चला कि ग्रूम इज अनॉयड उसको इतनी हल्दी क्यों लगा दी कुछ ना कुछ तुम लोग कहीं फैमिली मेंबर की तरह उनको कंसोल कर रहे हो तो बाय द एंड ऑफ इट इट वॉज लाइक कि वॉचिंग अ वेराइटी शो एंड बींग अ पार्ट ऑफ इट सो आई आई डेफिनेटली फील की द वेराइटी क्वेश्चन इन आर जॉब इज इज लाइक एन अडिक्शन राइट यू कॉन्ट स्टे अवे फ्रॉम इट आई थॉट वो बोलेगा कि इससे अच्छा मैं जेडब्ल्यू जेडब्ल्यू का एडवांस का वापस दे है ना जेडब्ल्यू एडवांस आई टी जे का एडवांस देना शायद और आसान हो रादर देन डूइंग दिस ईयर ऑन ईयर आई वॉन्ट टू क्विकली टच अपॉन दिस होल ए आई रेवल्यूशन दैट वी हैव सीन इन द लास्ट कपल ऑफ ईयर्स एंड सो मैनी पीपल वेन आई मीट दैन दे की पासकिंग अरे यू नो ए में ये आ गया है ए ऐसा हो रहा है अब तो वीडियो में आप सिंथेटिक ह्यूमन बना सकते हो एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा वॉट इज योर टेक ऑन ए आई इज इट अ थ्रेट टू योर जॉब इज इट एन एडिशन लाइक लाइक समथिंग दैट एम्पावर्स यू आर एन एफ एंड ए का क्या रिलेशन है आर एन एफ एंड ए का तो काफ़ी स्ट्रॉन्ग रिलेशनशिप है बिकॉज Anand also has a AI company which is called Argo Mage. So we do like we have basically automated the post production process uh, through AI. So my personal advice to any photographer would be to not look at look at it as a threat. Look at it as a tool. हमारा funda एक ही है कि AI जब नहीं था तभी camera में काम सही लाओ. आज भी यही है कि camera में काम सही लाओ. 
we've always used it as a supplement to our work and we've never let it we've never we've never said ke post mein dekh lenge aur we'll fix it later so we we've always made sure we're doing the job right and it just supplements our work a lot more last final question again i get a lot of dms on my thing uh on my instagram saying how do we join rnf and uh, you know how do we become part of this team so to anyone who's watching this and wants to be part of this small little team based out of nariman point in bombay what's your message show up with a smile <laughs> maybe <laughs> crack uh, iit first then tr- crack iim then we'll actually. think we might uh, take you in as a production ad- assistant but uh, <laughs> you i think that's a good that. ha huh, that's if you good survive story. through that then you're in yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you can yeah that that's our i think that the, should be our new Yeah. Hiring no, policy. No, hiring policy. <laughs> right. Minimum qualifications: IIT, IIM. Yeah. Three years, job X, role production. Fun fact: We have engineers in the company. We have lawyers in the company. We have chauffeurs in the company. We have students in the company. Everything but photography. So uh, I think somewhere down the line, the bug of creativity and being able to free food and free travel—that's that line that stuck with me when I had joined—has always stayed. So. uh what i'm trying to say is like he said it's the passion because when you are in rajasthan at 3 am in the morning after 16 hours of shoot it's really cold and you have still 2 hours to go it's not your work or your uh, uh fearless awards it's your passion that will keep you going right so i think that really is what's important and you should show that enthusiasm when you're writing to us if you have it wo aa jayega ya to smile se aayega ya likhne mein aayega koi to hisab se aayega so yeah that's all we are looking at we don't really need prior experiences most of it i think as long as you can tell stories yeah oh yeah come in it's a different breed this this yeah. whole uh, this, this whole industry happens. is mm. a kind of people who are a very different breed and everybody who texts us jealous jealous wo do din mein nikal jayega jealous <laughs> so yeah that's that's right. so if you are applying write to us call us tell us how passionate you are आप गूगल भी करोगे तो एड्रेस मिल जाएगा शो अप एंड जस्ट आई मीन एज रिलेटेड एज वी कुड गेट जस्ट शो अप एंड से वाई यू लव अस एंड वाई यू लव दिस फील्ड एंड मे बी यूल बी इन एंड सिटिंग विद अस इन द नेक्स्ट पॉडकास्ट मे बी डोंट शो अप एम टी हंड्रेड वी अप्रिशिएट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी चेंज द एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस एनी बडी यू शोइंग अप we show up with at least one pizza or uh, some box of chocolate we are a big team ah huh? we are a big coffee team. for me works coffee for him uh, but thank you so much everyone for taking the time out uh, this was the first episode of rnf podcast uh, called who are we and i hope in this episode you were able to get to know rnf as a company a little bit better many more episodes to follow it's a very interesting journey we have many anecdotes many stories coming your way so stay tuned for more episodes this is anand signing off thank you bye bye set hai to sab set hai a phase in uh, you know uh, aib at some point also dropped this uh, uh, sketch on uh, honest indian, honest indian wedding. weddings <laughs> and they they sort of took the whole idea of couple you, shoot yeah. i mean uh, they did ask the bride to climb on the back of the groom and you know aap undertaker wo papa shan ko <laughs> <laughs> and they made this whole sketch